Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Smells Like. I'm Josh. So good to see you. This is my niche list uh, for summer 2020. Um, I've already released my designer list. I think I did 10 or 12 uh, designer fragrances for summer this year that I'm really enjoying. Uh, if you haven't checked that video out yet, uh, it's the last video that I posted, so it should be easy to find. Uh, in this one, I'm going to go through, I think I've got five or six uh, niche fragrances that I want to talk about. Uh, the first fragrance I want to talk about is from Aqua de Parma, and it's Aqua de Parma Colonia Essenza. Now, I absolutely fell in love with the Aqua de Parma Colonia collection last summer when I got a chance to actually go to a department store where they had the whole line and I got to go through and try them all. They're really all pretty good. Um, even the original to me um, is worth having. I'd like to have the original uh, Aqua de Parma Colonia at some point. But for me, out of all of them, if I had to just choose one, uh, I would choose Aqua de Parma's Colonia Essenza. Uh, Essenza is very, very fresh. It's an eau de cologne style uh, and an eau de cologne concentration, but it does perform pretty well for an eau de cologne. Um, this gets compared to fragrances like Neroli Portofino, um, you know, your, your, your 4711 type eau de cologne, that classic eau de cologne style. Um, Aqua de Parma has really, I think, mastered that style and done a lot of different versions of that style. Asenza, classy. Again, it lasts for an eau de cologne. Um, and I, I just really love the way it smells. To me, it, it's a little bit um, upscale uh, in the way that it wears. It just feels kind of upscale to me. Uh, maybe slightly mature, maybe lean slightly on the mature side. Um, but uh, other than that, I mean, I think pretty much anybody could wear it. Uh, some teenagers may be turned off by it because it does have slightly uh, an elevated kind of like gentlemanly uh, vibe to it. So that's Aqua de Parma's Colonia Ascenza. It's okay, boo boo. My doggie's down here. Let me show you. Hey, boo. This is his boo boo. He's just hanging out while we do our fragrance video. All right. Sorry, I didn't mean to disturb your slumber. Next, let's go to Zerzhov. So this is Zerzhov Neo. This is the only fragrance from this house, uh, from Zer Zerzhov, that I own. And I I think it's the only one that I've even ever tried from them. Um, I don't have any stores around me that carry this, the Zerzhov line. I've never really gotten a chance to get into this house. There's all kinds of controversy online and in Fragcom about this house. And a little bit of it, honestly, has kind of turned me off some of the stuff that you hear about on Fragcom. Like, sometimes I wish I was, didn't, wasn't in on all the gossip and stuff like that on Fragcom because you hear things and then it kind of turns you off on certain brands. But, um, like, hearing when you hear about, like, the people behind the brands and stuff like that. Not saying there's anything wrong uh, with the people behind Zerzhov. I don't actually know. But what I do know is that Neo is an amazing summer fragrance. It's just absolutely amazing. The quality of Neo reminds me of the quality of Frederick Mall fragrances. When I first uh, smelled Neo, it actually reminded me of um, Frederick Mall's Geranium Pour Monsieur. I just have the little travel doohickey of Geranium Pour Monsieur from Frederick Mall. Um, and I think it's because there's a little bit of geranium in here, giving it this sort of watery, um, fresh, watery floral. Um, there's also some neroli. Uh, has a little bit of that eau de cologne style in it, but it's not a true eau de cologne. Um, concentration just says parfum. I don't know if this is an eau de parfum or a pure perfume, but. Uh, it's actually, it's, a, it's really a breathtaking fragrance. The citrus is the star here, it's bergamot. This is one of the best bergamot centered fragrances that I've ever smelled. I know, uh, you know, there's there's some Zerzhov haters out there. I honestly don't know about the rest of the house, but what I do know is that I love Zerzhov Neo for the summertime. It is just as high 
class and high quality a citrus summer scent can go, in my opinion. Next, speaking of Frederick Mall, uh, let's go to one of uh, the Frederick Mall fragrances that I really love to wear in the summertime. This one is Bigarade Concentré, uh, perfumed by Jean-Claude Elena, master perfumer, and probably my favorite perfumer of all time. Uh, JCE brings his signature style to Bigarad Concentré. There's also a Bigarad Cologne version that is an Eau de Cologne Concentration. This is an Eau de Toilette, so it's a Concentré. Uh, and this really is uh, Jean-Claude Elena's signature style. It's what you get in fragrances like... Um, Terre de Hermes Eau Très Fresh. It's kind of in that vein. Um, uh, which is it? Cartier's Declaration. Uh, that, that style that he has really been trying and, and kind of riffing on his whole career, I think he really has, has brought his ultimate version of that style, of that orange, kind of interesting, orangey, earthy, citrus. Uh, there's also this hay note in here that reminds me so much of summers uh, on the farm that I spent a lot of time at, my grandparents' farm as a kid in southern Illinois. Uh, the, the hay fields, when the hay was being, you know, mown down or whether it was being baled just the you know the summer breeze coming through and just we had a pond where we would swim and i can just remember cool sunsets and awesome you know cool breezes coming out over the plains and over the fields of hay and the way that that would just kind of mingle with all the greens and all the other smells of of, of the summer night um and so this one really, really brings back a lot of great memories. And so I love wearing Bigger Ad Concentre uh, in the summertime. A lot of other good ones from uh, Jean-Claude Elena uh, are, well, for, for, for a lot of good ones from him. Uh, for summertime, he's really good in, at the fresh fragrance. Uh, but an, also a lot of great fragrances from the Frederick Mall collection for summer. I think Geranium Pormesure would work great in summer. Um... Uh, Cologne Indelible uh, is, is a pretty cool uh, Eau de Cologne that's like a beefed up Eau de Cologne. Uh, it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, let's do three more. Uh, the one I want to do from Maison Francis Kirkjohn uh, is Aqua Universalis Forte. So Universalis Forte, uh, part of the trio of uh, Aqua Celestia Forte, Aqua Vitae Forte, and then you have your Aquas uh, universe, Universalis uh, Forte. So this is the, my third. Uh, I bought the other two before I got this one, so this completes my collection of the three. I think that of the three, my favorite is still Aqua Celestia, just, just by a bit. But Aqua Universalis is just an, a really great clean laundry set. One of those, you know, like a laundry musk. That's what he, people talk about if you look up this fragrance on Fragrantica. It's got some nice citrus in the opening. And then really, it's it's just a kind of a laundry musk um, with a little bit of uh, white flowers. And, and that's pretty much it. You get a little bit of kind of a yellowy uh, flower. I don't know if that's hawthorn. Uh, possibly or ylang ylang something something like that in the base um, that if you spray too much of this it could get a little bit cloying um, but otherwise this is just a really fresh laundry musk uh, MFK is, is kind of the king of the laundry musk that just fresh clean clothes clean linens clean cotton kind of smell um, but this one also really works well with my body chemistry in the way that that musk works and really just is kind of fresh and inviting uh, and, and great for summer. So I decided to go with Universalist since that's the newest one. I'll also be wearing uh, Aqua Celestia quite a bit. Uh, Aqua Vitae I save for uh, spring and fall. It's, it's a little bit heavier. I'll also be wearing Baccarat Rouge 540 
throughout. Um, that's one of my favorite fragrances of everything. Uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, the Eau de Parfum. I have the extra as well. Sometimes I mix them together. Um, those fragrances can, can be worn in the summer, uh, even though they have quite a bit of longevity and they can be kind of beastly. They're still sheer enough that I, I love Baccarat Rouge 540. Actually, I love it most in the summertime. Uh, that, that sheerness to it. So I guess it's not officially on the list, but Baccarat Rouge 540, another one that I'll be wearing a lot. Uh, two more. Let's go with this one from Etat Libre d'Orange. Uh, Remarkable People. Remarkable People has got talked about quite a bit a couple of years ago. Uh, a lot of people were talking about it in their videos. Um, and this is just a really light, easy kind of citrus like a fizzy citrus uh it's it's meant to have a champagne note uh and the vibe they're going for is like a rooftop party in the city in the summertime um and it's and it's got you know all of all of that kind of fizzy fun the lights you know it's got light light and brightness in it um a really fizzy fun fragrance um i don't even remember the notes right now because mostly what i get from it is just this kind of golden citrus this kind of golden sparkly citrus um there might also be like some tea a little bit of wood yeah but you can look up the notes that's uh etat lieb d'orange uh remarkable people another really from a really cool house this house is so cool um i definitely recommend checking them out they they do they do perfume as art uh really uh, pretty, really amazing art uh from them uh so number one i guess if there was any order at all is just because i recently have really fallen in love with this fragrance from creed this is creed's aralfa so uh this is a brand new bottle because i went through my my uh d this is a different one but i had a this size decant of it that i went through and it's been a couple of years of me kind of sampling this during the summer and every time i wear it i love it but there was always another creed that i wanted for summer like i wanted millicene imperial before i wanted this well then when i got that i wanted virgin island water because i love to wear virgin island water in the summer and will be wearing it but i wanted to highlight Eralfa because i think it's kind of the dark horse uh, of creed's summer lineup uh, this is just citrus uh, that <laughs> seems like that's all i've said about all of these but this is citrus and ambergris so this is like it's and it's meant to be like being out on a super yacht in the Mediterranean with the sea salty air and then all of the the smells from all of the citrus groves up in the hills and all of that mingling together with the sea salty air um, the ocean breeze and all of kind of the green and, and citric notes coming from the nearby hillsides that's what this is supposed to be and it just pulls it off so wonderfully it's a very very light fragrance you can wear this in high high heat and it's not going to be cloying you can really pour this on and it's 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 not going to turn anybody off uh in fact you know 100 degree days 95 degree days like we're having where i live right now in the midwest u.s uh this is perfect it's my scent of the day today and i just i absolutely love it it's 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 very simple it has that creed uh really that that creed that staple creed dna that ambergris that creed is known for um and it's and it's got a little bit in common with millicene imperial um but just an amazing summer scent from Creed that we're gonna wrap the video up with. So uh, those are some of my summer picks for 2020. Let me know some of yours down in the comments, uh, or if you have any uh, favorites from my list here uh, as well. Always love to hear from you guys in the comments. Hey, thanks so much for watching.